Yep, that's pretty gruesome. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a cheer. Look how happy the major we look. Now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway. It's like we had a boner or something. <laughs> Your first case is the murder of a woman. He doesn't look happy last though. Night and burning all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Alrighty. So guys, this is the first mission of the homicide cases. So we had just got promoted, you as you can address. see, we got a new shiny then suit going on. Matching hat Belmont as well. People should really bring that back. Hats? Look how classic that look. Nice look to it. I don't know, it's something that people don't do anymore, wear hats like that. Anyways. So, we got, obviously we have a new partner, and he's, um... Uh, <laughs> He's an alcoholic. Fuck you, though. You take the wheel. You can drive. He wants you need to take the wheel because what he's probably to drunk out of his mind Parker right now. Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green, so they're both clearing the decks. So where does that leave you, Galloway? Leave me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. Not as nice as our last partner was. <laughs> the Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. Are we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, folks. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk to one of them. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. Scoop for the examiner, Galloway. You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? You have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. Get used to it, Phelps. Moving along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Doesn't look appetizing at all. Let's talk to the cop on the beat here first. Patrolman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. The kids park here. They use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Alright, so before we inspect the body, I'm just gonna do all the other clues first. So the first one you wanna note is this footprint. If I can get to it. Come on, there you go. What can you tell size me about the shoe eight. print? Nine shoes, it's Men, really small eight. for a guy. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare Alrighty, back to the lab. So apparently you can actually contaminate the crime scene. I don't know how that's supposed to happen, but whatever. 
Next is this purse. Gotta reach in here and Welcome get the bed. wallet. Or lipstick, sorry. Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. I go personally lighter myself. A little too dark for my taste. That's all you need there. And it is time to put on our thinking caps, kids. Literally, because we're actually on solve a puzzle right here. It's pretty simplistic, well, kind of simplistic one, actually. Island. It's one of the globe. You have to recreate the world. The bottom one doesn't move, so you just have to move all the other ones around it. I suggest starting at the bottom. And, um... If you don't know what the world looks like, just Google... <laughs> world map, I guess. There you go. It is... And you want North America facing you. There's China and Russia. Should get one the other way, I guess. And bueno, got it. The Bomba, Bomba Club. Why steal a table lighter? Alrighty. And it's the 1940s. That's why they're not using using gloves, people. I get a message in the comment box every single time. Why aren't they wearing gloves? Fingerprints. <laughs> Anyways, let's check out this broad. And as you can see, back in the day, they did not believe in trimming or razors. So, <laughs> no disrespect. Could be the head Start off with the head. That's where your first clue is. Is this deep one trauma wound right here? Injury to the face. Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Alright, next we want to move on to the wrist on this hand, the left hand. Missing jewelry. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed, a ring most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. Alrighty. You can look at the stomach if you want. And went in for some necrophilia. <laughs> hey, dead women need loving too. I'm pretty sure there's nothing on this hand. <coughs> nope. All right, talk to the corner. Writing on the victim. B D. Black Dahlia. Text. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? The man could die of thirst. Right, so like we have to go to the bar that that globe lighter listed off for us. And as you can tell, our partner is an alcoholic. Fa la 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 bomba, baby. Da -da -na 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 -na. You drive. Shouldn't let him drive because he's an alcoholic and he'd probably kill us all. Where exactly are we going? Werewolf? <clears throat> For my money, a copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The collar of the decade. You've been working evidence for the hell? case for six months. <laughs> Come on, bro. Get off the road. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us a note in the corpse? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? He finished us. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stoom. Or some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures who'll rip off the MO and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastic. Well, the examiner of the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows? So, Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't, you understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. You'll find it.
All right, we are at the La Bamba Club. Let's go through the Golden Gate gates, I guess. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. Probably dead now. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves you most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's a hibiscus? You can't miss it. Is there anything else? Fly away, though. I forgot Just to look this here. up, but what the hell is a hibiscus? Anyways, let's go interview this bro. Uh, smoker. Oh, when they used to go to smoking bars and stuff, that was disgusting. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know it? Celine? Sure, I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Selena's is... was a lovely woman. Suspect seen a victim. Here with anyone last night? Not at first. Selene already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. Truth. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. Hey, how much time did you get off here? Ching. What an observant fellow. I think this nice. could be a great help, sir. Thank you. All right, Mrs. Henry ring. appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was... Uh, before Jake. <laughs> Shift the eyes. It's I doubt. think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're gonna tell me. Okay, I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Yes, I always have. The old man never knew about it. Last one. You know the husband? Sure, I know Jacob. He was in the core. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Last one. Doubt. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stow the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up, like usual. But he refused. She picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember. Alrighty, we got our address. Now we just gotta run the license plate with R and I. Get to make up the car. Hey, the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up Come nicely. On. Access the phone. Damn alcoholic partner. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. I'll wait through. I have it in the Phelps badge twelve forty seven. How could I help, detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2Boy8899. Yes, detective. 
I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks for your help. All right, so we got her address now. And for the record, he thinks he would know this since he was in the army. B should be Bravo instead of boy or whatever he said. But I don't even You're know behind what he the said. wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? Celine's house. Funny story. I actually learned the NATO you military alphabet one day. I was bored. Sharp is my investigatory and instincts. I, I was like having docs from my just bored in the way you I learned you collect it. Today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job with the help of Thursday Fenge, Coach. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. Alright, so we're at Celine's house. We got a canvassed area. Try the back door. Wait here a second. <laughs> That's what he said. House is kind of dilapidated. Could use some new paint. But then again, this chick is an alcoholic. Doesn't even fix her windows. Look at that. This guy likes kicking down doors, I find. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. <laughs> creeped. Jimmied. Does not look like someone jimmied. That's <laughs> like someone broke the window. Anyways, this is uh, the next newspaper. If you are collecting the newspapers, as always, I'm not gonna watch it just because for time purposes. All right. I think there are like three or four clues in this building. Start off in the kitchen. This is kind of stupid because it's pretty obvious, but you actually have to hit X on this window. To get the clue. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a thirty-dollar suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. <laughs> thirty-dollar suit. Oh my God! It is the 1940s. Jesus. All right. Next clue is this note on the fridge. You need this for the address of the husband. Celine and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Alrighty. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being a Next. Is this Cinderella shoe right here? Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Size nine. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I get nasty when I'm thirsty. And the last clue is in the lady's bedroom. Oh, she looks like a pig. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. And service. all you need is this jewelry box right here. Open up. Tiffany, your clue. This junk. Might explain the missing ring. All right, and that is it for all the clues inside the house. Now we just gotta talk to the neighbors to get the final one. She automatically comes when you leave the house. See if she hit me. Get out of the car, bitch. Guess not. Dang. <laughs> so 
the meat or all the cars in this game look the same? Anyways, talk. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss? Horgan! Jennifer Horgan. <laughs> Horgan. I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking. And she and poor, long suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. The what hell's is this about, dander? officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh my God. I'm afraid I need to go and, and sit down. All right, we got our last clue, which is the marital problems. Now we gotta go talk to husband. If we could walk a little bit faster, Let's blocks. see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. Let Rusty drive here. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. More and more likely. Whoops. Uh, in my mind, if the broad keeps the house looking like that, it's probably sir. Skipper says bring him in. Keep the hacks off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. 